Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two cases, one of hepatic cyst and the other of hepatic mass. You can see a large hepatic cyst. In general, hepatic cysts are thin-walled structures that contain fluid. Most cysts are single, but sometimes may be several. The symptoms associated with liver cysts include upper abdominal fullness, discomfort or pain. The cysts are usually found by ultrasound or CT scan. They are typically round or oval in shape and have well-defined margins. You can see a large hepatic cyst in the left lobe of the liver. An ultrasound, may, uh, they may look like like uh, round or ovoid and quiet lesions may be lobulated, well marginated with a thin or imperceptible wall and a clearly defined back wall. May show posterior costing enhancement if large enough. A few septa may be possible, but no wall thickening. A small amount of layering debris is a possibility. No internal vascularity on color Doppler. You can see the large cyst in the left lobe of the liver. These cysts usually cause no sign and symptoms and need no treatment. However, they may, be, may become large enough to cause pain or discomfort in the upper right part of the abdomen. You can see this cyst is large, very large and have almost clear fluid in its interior and it is round to oval in shape. This is gallbladder. This is the large cyst. Thanks for watching. Now you are going to see the other video showing the. Now the second video you can see a large mass in the liver in the central portion of the liver. It looks like to be lying in between the right and left lobe of the liver. This is a semi-solid to solid mass. Or you can see a bunch of multiple masses. And this mass is round to oval in shape. No fluid, no significant fluid is seen in the interior of the mass. You can see the blood flow inside the mass. Hepatic tumors are a diverse group of masses that include malignant and benign subtypes. Their presentation can vary, vary from localizing sign symptoms such as jaundice and right upper quadrant pain to vague symptom signs and symptoms such as fatigue, weight loss and anorexia. Sometimes the cause of liver cancer is known such as with chronic hepatic infections but sometimes liver cancer happens in people with no underlying disease and it is not clear what causes it.
either a single tumor larger than 2 cm that has grown into blood vessels or more than one tumor but none larger than 5 cm that is about 2 inches. It is not spread to nearby lymph nodes or to distance sites. More than one tumor with at least one tumor larger than 5 cm across. These masses can be defined as larger masses. Now you can see a significant blood flow is seen in the hepatic mass. The mass is round to oval in shape, is semi-solid to solid in consistency with no fluid in its interior. Now you can see the spleen and this spleen is slightly enlarged in size. You can see the measurement of the spleen. This is spleen. and it measures about 13.6 cm slightly enlarged in size the echo density of the spleen is echo normal no focal lesions is seen in the spleen Now you can see the unibladder and the lower abdominal cavity, the gut loops and the lower abdominal cavity. This is unibladder. And you can see there is no ascetic fluid seen in the abdominal cavity, no free fluid seen. No lymph nodes are seen in the abdominal cavity and the gut loops. Now again you can see the large hepatic mass. And the mass has slightly heterogeneous ecogenicity. The size of the liver is normal. There is no hepatomegaly, but there is mild saplenomegaly with no ascetic fluid. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel if you do like this video. Please click the like button. Thanks.